So guys, unfortunately, I have bad news. Um, pretty upset, very frustrating. You can tell by my hat. <laughs> I'm pretty upset. So I'm just go ahead and break y'all in. Ain't no easy way to tell y'all. Tonight, the Z01 got hit. Um, it was parked at a um, Popeyes. And I came in, I came out, and the girl lady told me that she hit my car. Um, she backed into it, didn't see it, obviously. I don't know how you don't see a, a bright, rapid blue car, but nonetheless, she did not see it. And um, this is where we are. Um, to be perfectly honest with y'all, now I, I know the next step is I'm probably gonna have to sell the Z because the way I'm about to get hit with depreciation is uh, about to be nuts. So, yeah, um, this car is gonna have to go. And it's very frustrating because I had big plans coming. I was just about to cop another car to pair with it. And now this is the outcome. What's going on 100 gang? It's your boy Nate. Back again with another video today. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you've been with the channel, I really, really appreciate it. And if you need some drip, go ahead and go to 100gangclothing.com. We got you in the winter and the summertime. And if you like cars like these, go ahead and subscribe to the MOC. That's me, Race Car Friends, Q to Chaotic, and Blueprint 1 LE. And if you saw the introduction of this video, you already know that the Big Z has been hit. Um, this is like a huge, like, I don't even know how to put it into words. As you can see, I'm speechless about it. I'm really upset about it. And uh, I'm gonna give you guys some details on how I actually got hit. And, uh, you're gonna be probably as frustrated as me as me when you find out how I got hit. And uh it's just it's just been a frustrating process. And I'm kinda lost for words because I put so much into this car, I spent so much money on the car, and for this to happen from somebody else, not even on my own doing, makes me just that much more upset. So let's go move to this next location and I'm gonna give y'all more details on what exactly happened with the Big Z. I lied about the location switch. I tried to go out and it was too windy and y'all wouldn't be able to hear me. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the damage. Um, are y'all prepared for this? I was not prepared. When I came outside and I saw the Big Z hit, I was not prepared. So let me go ahead and show y'all the damage in the daytime, although I did show y'all in that first snippet. Let's go see some more damage. So this is what we're looking like. Um, and this canard right here is like it's loose. At first I thought it was okay, but it's loose. Um, got some discoloration of the paint right here and we also have misalignment of this bumper Mama, you too dirty. and then right here huh? You so my daughter still saying the car is dirty which is true so we got the damage right here on the side panel and then right here got paint and this and this I took it to the shop and they gave me an estimate of uh, $1,600 he said it's liable to be more because he doesn't know how much damage has happened behind this. He said the light might be damaged when he takes all this stuff apart. He said there might be more damage. And uh, the insurance company tried to quote me. Well, her insurance company uh, quoted me $1,100. Um, you know they always try to lowball you, but it's whatever. So right now, I'm going to tell you all how she hit the car. So I'm out. You got to understand how, how mad I am about this. So I'm out at Popeye's, right? And this is New Year's Eve, right? I've been trying to figure out how I'm gonna address this situation. That's why I waited this long. So it's New Year's Eve. I'm out in the parking lot at Popeye's, picking up some chicken. <laughs> some picking up some chicken. So as I'm picking up some chicken, I'm inside the restaurant. A lady backs into my bright blue, rapid blue, not grabber blue race car 21, rapid blue Camaro. And she hits it. And the thing is, it's funny. While I was in line, I actually was gonna go and drive through at first, but I was like, oh, let me park and go in, it'll be faster. And I was gonna park at another place initially. And I was like, no, nah, I don't wanna park right there because somebody probably hit it. So I park in this area that's in the corner, literally in the corner by myself, thinking that, hey, there's no way that somebody's gonna be right here and wanna park beside me. This is why I'm parking right here. But guess what? The lady decided to park right next side, right beside, I can't even speak, right beside a bright blue Z01 Lee Camaro and hit it while she was doing it. And you know what's the worst about it? Y'all know I'm in Atlanta. The lady was a Saints fan. 
Y'all know we can't stand Saints fans. It was a Saints. Not only did I get my Z01 hit, brand new, that I just bought, not even for a year yet. Not only did it get hit, but a Saints fan hit it. A Saints fan hit it, bro. Y'all could imagine. Y'all could imagine how pissed I was. I was pissed with a capital P. With a capital P. I was pissed. And uh, but luckily, you know, the lady she she stayed around and she gave me her insurance. Luckily, she had insurance because you know if you know anything about Atlanta. Folks out here be riding dirty. They don't be having insurance, you know what I'm saying? And then out here, we a big state for hit and run as well. A lot of people be hitting people's cars and running and stuff. So Atlanta's a wild city in terms of insurance and violence and all that stuff. But y'all already knew that. So, she hit the big Z, and now it just brings into question everything about the future of the car. Because y'all know I already was on the fence about selling the car and picking up something new. And now I just feel like she possibly may have sealed the fate of me selling the car. Because when you think about it, it's like, now I got to go get the car fixed. Damage that has been in an accident is going to be on a Carfax, as well as depreciation. So now I'm upside down in a car that I put a lot of money into to get. Um, and it's going to have a wreck on a Carfax. And I'm not the one who crashed it. I'm not the one who did it. But somehow it's going to have a wreck on its history. And I didn't even wreck it. Somebody backed into me in a parking lot. So when I tell you that I am very frustrated and it took me weeks to bring this to light to y'all, it just shows like how frustrated I am. And I'm still frustrated because now I got to go through this process. I'm supposed to be taking the car to the shop on the 7th of February because everybody's so backed up from all the accidents that happened on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So I got to take it over there to get fixed. And... Um, from there, we're gonna see what's happening. They say it's gonna take a week to fix. So now the question, now the question begs to myself, and I'm gonna ask y'all is like, do I keep the Z at this point? Do I sell it? Like, what do I do? Cause like I said, I now I'm sitting on a depreciating asset. It's already a depreciating asset, but she just doubled, probably quadrupled the, the depreciation rate because it's been in a wreck now. You know, my $80,000 car has been hit. You know, by somebody not paying attention in the parking lot. Guys, please pay attention when you're parking. And and the reason that makes me frustrated is because this is not the first time that I have been hit while parking. I've been hit. I've been hit parked before. But luckily, the first time it happened, it was in a hoopty. So I didn't care. I just let the person go. I just said, hey, give me 500 and it won't go on your insurance or nothing. And we'll just keep it like that. But because uh, on that car, the damage was way worse than this. It was probably like three grand and that was an older car so you just imagine how bad it was i just didn't care for the car like that I, and the lady seemed like she was going through a situation already so i was like it will just give me 300 and we'll call it a day but guys please pay attention when you're parking especially when you're parking beside bright blue camaros or race car 21 would say bright blue mustangs but you know we you know mustangs you could probably tap it a little bit you know tap it but i'm completely lost as to what to do with the car now i'm very confused i feel like i need guidance i need help um mentally <laughs> i probably need to go to therapy for this um it's just something i just not could imagine and for it to happen on new year's eve i feel like wow this is an amazing way to start the year it's like what better way to start the year with a car accident that you didn't cause and you know i'm pissed look at my hat i can't even keep a hat straight when i'm talking to you all about it you know, um, hopefully this thing works out for the best because they say everything happens for a reason. But to be honest with you guys, bro, I don't know the reason. I feel like I feel like Cardi B right now. What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? I just explained the reason. What was the reason? I don't need to explain myself to you. What was the reason? Like, that's how I feel. Like, what was the reason for this? What was the reason for this? Like, what was the reason? What was the reason? I was just trying to get some chicken, man. Some chicken. I was just trying to get some chicken. I was trying to get some chicken. I got hit over chicken. Chicken? Chicken. Chicken. You hit me because I was getting chicken. You could imagine how much I was saying that that night. And you know, when I, because it happened at nighttime. So I was just outside. I was like, bro, you hit me. 
from getting chicken. You hit me for getting chicken. And I apologize to the lady. I didn't cuss at her or nothing, but she could tell that I was mad. I was hot. Like, I was hot. Especially when I found out that she was a Saints fan as well, because I went to the back of her car to get her information. And she got a Saints tag. And I'm a, I'm a Falcons fan. Like, bruh, like, how you gonna hit my beautiful car? Then you gonna be a Saints fan. I feel like it was done on purpose. At this point, I feel like it was done on purpose. Because ain't no way you just decided you was in the Popeye's parking lot in your old car and you want to go hit my bright blue car for some chicken. I don't know, man. I got a vendetta against Popeye's. I got a vendetta against KFC. All chicken restaurants, except for churches. I got a problem with. So, y'all get in the comments. Y'all let me know what should I do. Do I sell the Z? Do I fix the Z? Keep it? Or what do I do, man? Because at this point in my life, I'm confused and I need help. Like I said, mentally, spiritually, physically, all that stuff. I'm, I'm pissed. So y'all get down in the comments, y'all let me know. The ZL1 190 Elite has been total. All right, what do you think about the car? What do you think, Lola? What do you think about the car? Are you mad about this right here? You are mad about that and getting hit? I was just trying to get some chicken. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to get. Some chicken. Yeah, I was trying to get chicken. That's it. So guys, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you've been with the channel, I really, really appreciate it. And if you like cars like these, might not have it long, but go ahead and join the MOC. That's me, Race Car Friends, Q to Chaotic, and Blueprint 1 LE. Let's go. And don't forget to go 100 Gang Clothing.com and get some joke. We got you on the one and the summertime. Let's go. All right, so far, say bye.